Drop the knife. Are you all kidnapping me? When the self-proclaimed Karens think they can outsmart the law, Stop! Stop! Chaos ensues. Today, we'll take you on a wild ride where entitlement meets authority. Touch me! Be ready for a cringe-worthy masterpiece. I have a lawyer! Please help me! Help me! Karens are capable of creating a scene anywhere, but one place which they love the most is a super center. 33-year-old Brandy McGowan was at a Florida Walmart from where she allegedly stole a knife and was threatening to hurt someone. Drop the knife now! Drop it now! Drop the knife now! Drop it. Even after having a weapon pointed directly at her, this Karen did not phase at all. Drop the knife now! Other officers arrived at the scene, and in one swift action, the cop then resorted to another method, tasing her. I bet that shocked this Karen for life, literally. Get your passports ready, cause we're about to go on a little trip. That is, if Karen lets us. Drop the knife now. Drop the knife. So you all kidnapping me? Yeah, I know, but some big cut up. Let's look at an episode from the most famous dispute of 2020. Masks or no masks? Here, have a look at the most stereotypical Karen that I've ever seen. Right, we need that you need to give Didn't us you say? And, and you cannot tell me otherwise. Correct? You just lied to me. No, you That's not what I said. Yourself. Oh. When you're legally detained, you can play back on your video. When you're legally detained, legally detained, which I was not, that okay. I have the. Can you try to run? Look at all that sass. As a call taker, I know you want to have them on there for your safety purposes. Yes. Right now. She has the manager? No. Oh, no. Okay, other employees? Well, there's also another woman without a mask. Isn't that interesting how she only okay. picked me? And she topped it off with a racist comment. Because we have to identify you. If I can't identify you, I'm taking you to jail. This is okay? getting weird. Now they're saying they can't identify me, they're taking you to jail. When her well of excuses dried up, she started going for the cop that was confronting her. Getting the information from me. We need okay. to stay you can't leave because right now you're still detained. No, you can't. You are being detained. Okay? Which we were called here. Illegal. We were called here. Called here for a. The next part of this clip includes the most Karen thing a person can say. Check it out. So we both know that I don't. I am a woman of God. This is my land as much as it is yours. I am a Christian woman of God. I will not have it. Do you understand that? I will not have it. The video ended with her getting on the cops' nerves and getting arrested for it. Just released. Turn around. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Next, we have another Karen who refused to wear a mask, but this time at a bank. The manager at Galveston Bank called the police when a customer refused to follow the pandemic code of conduct. The officers reached the venue and, well, her attitude came right out. Uh, I'll say if, if that's you leave, you have to leave. Well, then you have to abide by the rules and you have to have a mask on. Awesome. Well, you need to go and get a mask and then take your money out. You're not allowed to do. You can not in public, but you're not in public. You're not in public. Oh, so let's go outside. No. The victim card was played, and when she tried resisting her arrest, the officer did what was necessary. Oh, don't do that. Oh. Do not touch me. Ow. Okay. You don't stop resisting. Stop your private area. Yeah. Turn over yeah. on your stomach. Put your hand behind your back. Wow. What about your sheep? Throughout the interaction, she kept on yelling and making a scene. The officer escorted her to his car, but she kept on yelling. You know what? I think she's getting to yourself. Come on. One in custody. Not wearing a mask, people. Okay, um, I've got my dog in my truck. I got you. You Take broke a seat. my damn foot. Take a seat. Okay. Take a seat. Are you, where's your mask? Where's your I'm mask? Six feet away from you. On May 25th, 2021, officers responded to a public disturbance at the airport in Dallas. This intoxicated woman was rushing to get through to her gate. She pushed past the passengers and staff just before another passenger pushed her back from the gate. She started yelling and saying the passenger choked her. Oh, 
Who saw me? I saw you run through the door when you weren't. You deserve it. I'm pretty sure you're mistaken. Nobody would stand up and said this girl was chokeholded by a passenger. Shame. That's why America is going to the dogs. Shame, Shame on all of you. Terry, calm down. I, calm down. I want the manager here. Okay, we'll get the manager. What is your name? He Am chokeholded me to the ground. The alleged guy was brought forward, and his version of what happened was completely different. She's not gonna bother. You can come out there. How are you? So what happened? I was walking up as soon as I saw only saw a little bit. She was making a She came up behind us to get in the boarding line, and she was cussing and making a... She tried to bust through? Yeah. The door was halfway shut, and she came rushing through the door. I pushed her back. Jim pushed her down to the ground. Can I go? Excuse me. Here you go. This guy chokeholded me! Look at the cameras! Okay. Do you know what he was Because that woman at the reservation just sent him on me! Karen did not rest there and went on to let her frustration out on the innocent bystanders. I just want to go home! My flight's leaving. I need to get to my great aunt's funeral, okay? No, I, this is not right! The situation went on escalating and it forced the officers to arrest her. By now, the officers knew that on top of being a typical Karen, she was also drunk as a skunk. I'm not, no. Please, somebody film this. Please take the guns off of it. You told me you would help me. God damn you. Ma'am. You want the other? No. All right. I'm you. I'm like she never smelled it before. It's illegal. I hope you're all happy. And this Karen wanted to beat all the other Karens in choosing the most bizarre matter to get all the attention in the world. It was New Year's Eve of 2021 when a woman boarded a Delta Airlines flight, started behaving erratically because she was sitting in the wrong seat, and refused to move because she liked it better. The sassy showdown began immediately. They did not take me off the plane. You guys messed up my flight ticket. I asked for an aisle. They gave me a middle seat. They did not handcuff me. They did not touch me to get off the plane. We're here for like your behavior. My behavior? Okay. I got. They gave me an E, which is a middle seat. Every Karen thinks she's entitled to every kind of privilege there is. And so this Karen didn't hold back in bragging about it. I need to. It's my privilege. No, no. No. I am allowed to hear what they are saying. Moreover, her ignorant self seemed to be confused as to how she was at fault. What have I done? You have no idea. They have tried to work with me by taking me off the plane. Well, what did you do on the airplane? I'm asking you what I have done on the plane. Did I touch someone? Please explain it. Dude, who's paying for my ticket? The officers told her nicely to get another flight, but she lashed out. And then, as soon as she tried to get handsy with the cops, that's when hell really broke loose. I don't do s***. Stop! Hands hands I don't live in here. Oh, I don't live in here. Stop. 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 Get off me. Tell her to get off. The racist comments that she made really showed that this wasn't her first time doing so. No. Get off me. I have a right. Sit get down. off me. Go on. No, get away! The cops prepared to take off when this sneaky Karen pulled off this move. Hey, don't, do not resist! Get, get away! Why are you gonna hold it? Follow Arthur now. Get in this car. Get first. Get first. Walk your head. It was a wonderful night in La Crosse, Wisconsin to be out at a bar with your friends. But this Karen decided to ruin it for everyone. Even though the yeah, police department so continued to investigate me when they asked you know my name. On August 11th, 2021, police received a call for a woman who was inside a bar, intoxicated, attacking a bunch of people and refusing to leave. Can I really account? Let me call my face. Can I get my, bar, my cigar back? Yes. Not She's been in the bar for a while. Oh, it's you all. Yeah. Just, yeah, maybe take I've been doing she's, she's been touch people, pushing people. Yeah. Okay, so I've been smoking cigars now for... Yep. Yeah, we will, uh... The Cameron in question had some pretty interesting arguments to make. In a shocking turn of events, a guy decided to show up to the cops and put in a good word for Karen. 
You know what happened to me. If I'd be honest. What happened to you? You know what happened to me. I'm Tim We had dinner together over at Turbo like six years ago. And you're going to pretend like you don't know what happened to me? They what did they say? you were pushing people and touching people. But they got back up. She never touched me. I never touched her. Why was it crazy if you listened to what the viral instructions were to the out of the bar? And now we're all left wondering why he did that. Well, here's your answer. What's more is, if something happens to me tonight... This is my job, bro. Ma'am, is it okay if we talk over here for a second? No, 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 no. I do this shit for real, for real. Why? Thank you. I don't know what you want to talk about. The officers cuffed her up and took her to the cop car when her inner toddler decided to show up. So, unfortunately, you do have to go to jail tonight, okay? Wait, let me put... This is the first right? Yeah. Okay, just like no, this. No, I want you to put it in my purse. Well, let's let's go and then we'll please. You've been here forever, you little Tim. You actually can't believe you're that, doing that. That doesn't this. have anything to do with. It. And even back at the station, she decided that she wanted none of that civility and went on to do this. What are you doing? They've already made the change. On June 9th, 2022, a Hinsdale police officer served an arrest warrant for a domestic violence allegation. The suspect, 45-year-old Sean Malarkey allegedly hit her ex-husband with her car. Hey, step out of the car right now. You step out. Get your hands off of me. Step out of the car right no, now. Get your hands off get of me. Get out of the car, because no. you have a warrant. And you're wanted no. for a domestic battery. Yes, you are. She even had children sitting in the back of her car, but still went on to behave erratically. You don't stop tugging I'm going to tase you. Okay, we're going out here this way. To crush you, I asked you out of the car. I told you you're under arrest. Still, she didn't seem satisfied with the charges already put on her, so she went on to add violence on an officer to the list. My children are home alone! Oh, no, no, you're not taking care of shit! Help. Wait, but you take care of somebody and throwing them down on the ground? Hold on to your seats, as the climax is still to come. In an outburst of rage, she did the unimaginable. Don't touch me. Get your, phone on. Get your hands off me. Where's your phone? You fucker, do not touch me. Get his hands off me. Hey, who, hey, if you keep resisting, Get your I'm gonna f with that. If you, you know what? I'm gonna charge you with putting your f dirty f hands on Stop me. Stop moving. I have no clue how she's going to defend that in court. I'm gonna take a 200 pound dude right there. The one you're trying to bite? Okay, Sean, let's go. Why? Ah, uh, yes. The screaming, shouting, and throwing tantrums outside a bar. <laughs> Classic Karen's. Concerned staff at a bar in Ohio called officers about a possible drunk driver in the parking lot. The driver had been drinking at a bar with his girlfriend earlier that night before attempting to drive his girlfriend's car home. Officers arrived outside the bar and found the driver asleep with his foot on the gas pedal while the car was still running. Hey, sir! Take your foot off the gas. How much have you had to drink tonight? 73 to 38 for reference time. I'm tired, dude. You passed out with your foot on the pedal. Yes, sir. Yeah? Uh, earlier, yeah. Yeah, when was the last time? White Paul years, too? No, that's my girlfriend. Girlfriend? She's, she's in there. The suspect didn't hesitate much and surprisingly gave in pretty quickly. But then the storm arrived after the call. You're right, you're right. You're, 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 you're right. right. You probably don't know what to do. I can't make that promise if you could find a ride. You oh, please call my mom. Hold on one second, sir. in there, dude. I'm so sorry. Well, here, I'll... What the f*** are you doing? You need to calm down. No, you need to get the f*** out of my car. Right For now. what? Then talk. To cut the right now. She just went absolutely berserk and wasn't willing to listen at all. Why are you searching my car? Well, you have zero reason to search your car. For what? Wait. In a shocking turn of events, her friend showed some discipline and tried to calm her down. Put on the gas. Really what are you? What are you talking about? He's Why? He's in the car. He's operating the car, and he's out under arrest for a No, he's, a, he's in the cruiser. That's my car. You didn't have my permission. Then the obvious happened. Karen had some interesting threats for the cops. She even resorted to violence. I'm gonna play some video. Whatever angle you're at, I'm walking behind you, and I'm behind your back. For what? Okay, God, because I have money, baby. We're gonna okay. sue the state of Claremont but, County. But tonight, you Put your hand behind your back, man. Come on, right there. Yeah. The camera's all over him. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Where's the Get in the car. Do not have the place under arrest. Check out this young Karen in the making. When confronted, she pulled out arguments and excuses that went way over my head, at least. Let's see if you can make any sense out of them. 
You're going to have to get off the aircraft, yeah, okay? Yeah, and you're at the... The representative of the aircraft, they don't want you flying on their plane today, okay? No, and so that's you... fine, and I will respect that. Okay. So speak Sorry. my mind. Okay. And you know what? I live in America, and that's what you really... If you are ever going to okay. put your hands on Grab me, your bag. I'm going to no. say what I have meant to Drops. say. Yeah. The damsel in distress finally got up from her seat and was escorted out by the officers. Have a look at how that went down. As soon as they deplane, you're going to jail. Okay? You see how that's a threatening system? That's We're not something. healing. Yeah, get off the plane. Come on. Healing. Get off You're not expecting. You're not respecting Rest. my human. Oh that's not human. Okay. I know, man. That's not Back at the police station, the cop who arrested her gave his fellow officers a word of warning for what they were about to face. I was on an airplane. I should not be arrested. Not calling my human rights. Why is this like this? This is not my human rights. An eagle-eyed police officer observed a driver using her phone while driving. She was so lost in it that she didn't even notice that the officer was standing right beside her car. I'm watching you drive all the way up the street, all the way up the street. No, it was not. I have it on my camera. You can tell right off the bat that she was going to be a Karen from how this dialogue went. Can you please put your feet in and close the door? Because it's for my safety and your safety. Well, you see my hands at all times. Is this against the law right there? Am I not allowed to have license? The age-old technique of deflection was put into action, and the officer made an observation that she had company in her back seat. Life is in danger because of what you're doing. That's why you're, you're being excited. You're making assumption that I was texting when I'm okay. using voice to well, me again. Yes. Nine o'clock in the morning. Yeah. And I would love to there? play this. The officer dropped his pen on the ground, and Karen made a comment that made the officer totally lose it. You can actually pay for it in downtown. Town. Butterfingers <laughs> making us all unsafe on the road. I'll tell you, I, you know what? Are you gonna stop? I'm going to go ahead and give you a copy of the law today. No, 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 don't do that in my car, please. Excuse me, that's my property. At least now she'll try to watch her mouth. Or will she? You know my, Have a great day, you man. You know my daughter just had an accident. As we are unable to decide what is more fascinating, the fact that this woman refused to leave the store for not complying with its mask policy, or the fact that her name was actually Karen Turner. Store policy. They right, can't so, ask you to leave. Okay, so the law. What's the federal law that prevents me from wearing a mask? Uh, right? State order. No, no, no. no. State. They don't have to provide you service. Her arguments became increasingly absurd as the confrontation went on. Then the inevitable happened, and the action began. No, no, no. Yes, Do yes, they is. serve the public? Okay. I'm not giving you my ID. Okay. No, no, no. Her phone that she whipped out as soon as the confrontation began now went right back in. Oh, I can't wait to see your ass. <laughs> I don't want to provide. No, 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 no. Because uh, no, don't no, because yeah. I didn't commit any. And when she was placed in the car, that's when she really lost it. Where's my cell phone? I have your cell phone. Absolutely. Thank you. Oh! Illegal search! Karen was arrested for DUI and attempting an assault on an officer. I want my cell phone. For cell phone. You're going to fight with me? No. Kitty, what? And this is how you put Karens to shame. A group of Muslims in a South Florida Walgreens called the cops on a woman hurling racist remarks at them. Officers reached the scene and weren't hesitant to take action quickly. Ma'am, no weapons on you or anything like that? No, here. Under arrest for battery. The situation then became completely ironic as she dragged religion into the confrontation. Fuck. I this is unbelievable. The Muslim women then came on the scene and surprisingly, Karen had some words of regret to say to them as an attempt to clean up her mess. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have friends that are Muslim. Oh, that hurts. You're hurting my hands. Well, they're handcuffs. Uh, they're not for comfort. Those, those same Muslims that you were talking shit to just decided your fate and they elected. God bless you. Yeah, God bless them. Because yeah. if it was up to me, you'd be going to jail. The woman then decided to show Karen how to be kind towards others and told the officers to do this. That you are not going to jail. 
Oh, I suggest you watch your mouth because well, the particular. Shut up. Listen. The particular group that you decide to mouth off to. Your mouth. This officer saw me last night. He knows I'm not a bad person. But even after the cops were off of her, she still managed to pass snide remarks. One thing's for certain, and that's that Karens never learn. That's unfortunate. Well, I've never had this happen to me Then keep before. your mouth shut and you won't have it happen again. Listen, you, you don't know what he did to me You don't before. have the right to ask me how to talk to you when you're disrespecting people. Literally spitting on people. Okay. Different religions. Okay, for sure. Okay? Yeah. Thank you, officer. Yeah, have a good night, man. Thank you. Thank you, officer. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments below, and subscribe for more intriguing content. Stay tuned for our next adventure. And until then, stay curious, stay safe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.